I've talked to a lot of people. In light of yesterday's public hearing, Dr. Andrea Leitheiser, acting director of Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse, says she wants to clarify a few things about the Ifamagoanta systems of care. Primarily that the program will not be closing its doors. The, the perception out there is that Ifamagunta is closing and that children's services is ending. And I just want to reiterate to the public and to our consumers that that's not accurate. That we are going to continue to care for them uh, regardless if the grant is funded or not. You know, again, we're confident that we have enough support for that. But it's not like we're going to close the doors and, you know, children will be out in the street. We, the acting director adds that while 750 grand was already appropriated from the legislature to finish Ifema Guanta's physical year, the program's Hagania-based office is still awaiting exemption from a budget law to be able to use its funds. In the meantime, Lightfizer says mental health is planning on applying for a no-cost extension, which will give additional time for the program to expend federal money. However, she says another hurdle stands in the way. Um, we are applying for the no-cost extension. If, if it is approved, then the next hurdle is the $2 million um, cost or in-kind match. Lightfizer doesn't know where the $2 million will come from just yet. And although turning Ifamagoanta into a nonprofit is something officials are looking at, she wants to clarify that mental health supports the organization 100%. None of the agencies, with the exception of mental health, has come to the plate to sponsor um, any rap coordination or anything like that. So when people say mental health doesn't care or mental health doesn't sponsor, we're the only ones who've come to the plate and we ask for 11 classified positions um, for that, including in our budget next year. She also says if people wanted to donate money towards the program, the agency can't accept donations directly, but the governor can. So if people want to make a donation to Ifamagunta or to Departmental Health and Substance Abuse, um, they can, provided it has to go to the governor. And then the governor, in turn, can appropriate it to us. So, Josh Dukanko, um, Pacific News Center. To answer your question, yes and no.